Hello everyone, this is Ram and you're watching Fitness Geek. Today we'll be diving into an essential feature of Power BI, that is row level security using the dynamic method. Row level security is crucial for controlling data access at a granular level within your Power BI reports. The dynamic method allows for even more flexibility and adaptability in managing data security. Let's explore what it is and how it works. Row level security, also known as RLS, in Power BI is a security model that enables you to restrict data access for different users based on their roles or attributes. The dynamic method takes RLS a step further by allowing dynamic filtering of data based on user specific conditions. This dynamic approach ensures that users only see the data relevant to their role or attributes providing a more personalized and secure experience. How does it work? The dynamic method relies on DAX expressions to create dynamic filters that adapt to each user's context. These expressions evaluate user attributes or roles and determine which data they can access. By incorporating these expressions into your Power BI model, you can control access to the data at the row level, ensuring that users only interact with the information pertinent to their role or criteria. Let's have a quick demo and we will see how this feature or the dynamic row level security actually works. Now let's jump into a live demo to see the dynamic method in action. I'll share my screen and walk you through a sample report which I have previously created. We have used that in our previous videos. We have implemented or we will be implementing the row level security using this dynamic approach. Let's think of a use case. For example, if you have some data and you have a user specific data, for example, a regional a report where you have regional managers and you want those managers to see only what's relevant to their role. Let's implement this in this particular report and see how it works. This is my financial report that we have previously created. You can see we have regional manager column in this report and this is just for our sake that I wanted to let you know that there is a particular column that uses user principal so regional managers uh, email address uh, will be here so we don't need this for our demo we will remove it this is our report let's publish this currently we do not have row level security uh, enabled or we have not implemented it in this report so this user should be, should be able to see all the data in this particular report once this power bi report is published we will log in as mac daemon and just refresh the report as you can see the table that we recently removed has gone and this user can access everything in this report he is a viewer in this particular uh, workspace and he has access to this report and there is no row level security enabled on this particular data uh, particular report or the data set. So let's go ahead and enable the dynamic uh, row level security for this particular report. I'll go back to my Power BI desktop and if you have a look at our table, we have got this column that we have created this is the calculated column and I have used this particular expression so whenever the region is America Mexico or Canada Matt Damon is the regional manager otherwise Ramakanda Richie is the manager let's go back to our report go to modeling create roles let's create dynamic regional manager rm let's caps it out 
and that's that's okay let's create it once done let's add the filter the filter is on the column called regional manager now this is where we will be implementing a DAX expression so that DAX expression is user principal name what this should do is it fill whenever a person is logged in and is if he is member of this dynamic uh, RM role then this particular filter will take effect so if he uh, if there is no data for that particular user he wouldn't see anything so let's implement that if this is done let's save it uh, this we don't need so let's save this it is saved let's go ahead and publish this report Once this report is published, the user Matt will not be able to see anything unless he's assigned to a role. So let's see how that works. Once it is published, it should take a few minutes for it to start taking effect. As you can see, the report can't be viewed because the underlying data set uses row level security. Now let's get back to our data set settings and that's where we will assign the permissions. We will add members to that role. So this is my report. I am logged in as Ramakan Dadichi who is the admin here. This is my data set. Let's go to security. You can see the rule level security as there is one role, dynamic RM. That's, this is the one that we just created. Currently, there are no members. So we can add Matt. Once added, it should take a couple of minutes to take effect. And now if Matt goes ahead and refreshes his report, he should be able to see the report or the data that is specific to his username. So all the rows in the table which had regional man manager mentioned as Matt Damon here, all those data will be visible to Matt. So let's do a quick refresh. As you can see, uh, Matt, who is the regional manager for North America. So if you remember, we had this expression in our Power BI desktop. So whenever uh, the, you know, the, finance, uh, the financial country is United States of America, Mexico or Canada, Matt Damon is your regional manager and that can be verified in your data. So he should be able to see data specific to his region. So his region is North America and he can see the report with data specific to his region. So this is a very powerful uh, feature or uh, a security feature that that is there available in Power BI. And I, I can say this is one of those uh, feature that that will give you a lot of flexibility and you can create reports uh, specific to uh, users and a single you know report can be viewed differently by different users so this this is a very powerful uh, security feature uh, also known as the dynamic method of row level security so give it a shot give it a try and i'm sure this will be very useful uh, in your next Power BI reports. So in conclusion, the dynamic method for row level security in Power BI 
is a powerful tool for tailoring data access to individual user needs. It provides a robust solution for scenarios where fine-grained control over data visibility is crucial. I hope this demo helps you understand the concept better and please feel free to ask any questions. If you found this video useful, please do share and subscribe and help this channel grow. Thanks a lot and see you in next video.